안녕하세요. 저는 막입니다. Hi guys, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to be transforming into Kimchi from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 8. Gotta represent the Asian community. I love, love, love Kim. I love her visually and also as a person. Honestly, comes across on TV so amazingly. I've been following her on Instagram for so, so long. Her makeup artistry skills are intense. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm honestly so obsessed with her so, so much. 사랑해요, Kim. And you all are gonna tell me off because I haven't done a drag look for so, so long. So I'm really, really sorry about that. But season eight has just ended and I want to do some drag race looks for you guys. So here you go. This is the first one. So enjoy the rest of the video. So guys, you know how it is. Cover the brows and cover the beard with some orange corrector from LA Girl. And you know, highlight the face with Vichy Derma Blend foundation, cover the face, contour, powder, do all of that. Paint in the face, you know how it is. Just done my face and one eye and I'm going to move on to the next one. I'm first going to be using my brow bar to go by Whitening Lightning. Just like my Trixie Mattel makeup tutorials, I'm going to draw guidelines because this is a very specific look. So, it's very, very graphic and I want the proportions to be correct to how kimchi does it. So, I'm going to draw my lower lash line. I'm going to draw my new lash line, my crease line, my brow line. So, everything is really big, so you want everything to be super, super dramatic. And the liner goes all the way to your temple, which is mental, but <laughs> that's how Kim does it. I wish I had circle lenses right now, but all of mine have expired, so I had to throw away all of my circle lenses. But if you've got circle lenses, that would be fab, because Kim likes to wear those. Kim likes to do a fade on the brow, so I'm just going to try and replicate that as much as I can. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to clean up the underbrow with my foundation. I'm going to take my Stargazer blush palette and I'm going to take this pink shade right here and pop that into the crease. I'm just gonna blend that into the crease. So the crease line is very, very high. <laughs> Lol. For my eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using my Neutrals versus Neutrals palette from Revolution. And I'm gonna take the light shade right here and pop that on the brow. After that, I'm gonna be taking this dark brown shade and just pop that to deepen. I bloody love Kim's makeup. Oh, it's so beautiful. And she does something slightly different each time she does her makeup, so I really, really like it. I love the final product of doing Drag Race makeup tutorials, but it just takes so, so long to do one. That's what puts me off of doing them, and I know you guys love them so, so much that I do want to make more drag videos, it's just that it's so time consuming, it's unreal. I'm going to be taking the black and purple right there and I'm going to redefine. I'm taking a little bit of this pen liner from eBay and just really, really define that liner. Now I'm going to be taking my Stargazer Glitter in Motai. You don't want to apply the glitter all over the lid, you just want to apply it to the fake one. Look at her, look at that glitter though. Right, my eyeliner is running out, it's so annoying. <laughs> it's my favourite one, it's my NYC liquid liner. And if I run out then I'll just I'll dig into my makeup collection and find something else to use. But the liner should cover the whole lid and really, really extend in the inner and the outer. I'm using my Kiko gel liner now because the 
I know I see one right now. That's so annoying! In the middle of a tutorial as well. Feelings aren't real. Put your money down, put your back fist in the wheel. I'm gonna be taking Clown White from Bad Night and pop that into my waterline. Okay, what I'm gonna do in the bottom is apply the crease colours onto the bottom. So the pinks and everything. I'm gonna apply a little bit of glitter on the outer here. Just like how Kim does. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this look though. Like, pop that glitter there. Okay, I'm gonna come back with some lashes on. So you wanna apply about 10 pairs. I'm not even lying. I don't know what it is yet. I'm having a Gia gun time these past few months with my lashes. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like they're always wonky. I feel like this is more lifted than this one, and no matter how much I try and lift this one, just won't. I feel like I've got wonky eye right now. It's really annoying me. It's peeing me off. It's actually peeing me off. Okay, so let's contour. First of all, I'm going to be using this pink orange eyeshadow as a blush, and I'm applying this really, really heavy across the whole cheek. I'm gonna bronze a little bit more using my NYX bronzer in medium. Kim's contours are very, very low across the face, so you wanna make your cheekbones really, really low. And my cheekbones are pretty high, so I'm just gonna try and disguise it. And I wanna cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. So I'm gonna be using the dark brown shade and a little Zoeva 222 brush. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, I think. I'm just gonna carve out a cheek. Because if you look at Kim's pictures, there's a definite line when it comes to her contour. I mean, you can't lie, you got a bang when you got to do the drag, you got a bang. I'm gonna use my light powder to cut the cheek even more. I'm gonna try and do the lips. I'm gonna be using a bunch of different lip products. I'm gonna be using Kiko Precision Lip Pencil in 314 and Liquid Lipsticks from MUA. Dash and Tranquility and Lebeau Cosmetique in Kylie. So Kim's lip shape, she tries to change it up a lot, but I'm following one of her Instagram pictures and it's very, very overdrawn even on the outer corner, so I'm gonna try and replicate that. So guys, this is the final look. I don't really know if I look like kimchi because we have different face shapes, even though we're both Asian, obviously. All Asians do not look alike. We do not look like each other. That is so annoying to me when people say that. Everyone in the comment section always be saying I look like Manila, B, or kimchi. And I love that, but in my opinion, we don't all look the same, so I'm just saying. Also, I've done other Drag Race looks in the past, so I've done Adore Delano, I have done Trixie Mattel, which is very iconic, so if you want the Trixie look, link below, Bianca Del Rio, I've done Raven, I've done a bunch of Drag Race girls, so click the playlist in the description box so that you can watch those. My nail is popping off. My nails are from Primark, they are a matte blue like a pa pale pastel blue and then my dress is from a wholesale website i'll link that down below and my wig is from divaswigs.com and i styled her all by myself i don't like to you know get my wigs custom ordered or custom made because i like to do them myself i feel that like it's really really enjoyable honestly i want to slay my own hair do you know what i mean like i want to slay and lay my own hair and snatch it for the gods so let me know who you want to see next on my drag race series that's it this has been mark Get me to 100,000 subscribers, please. For more drag looks, subscribe. And I love you. And comment. And annyeong. Bye.